Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is episode three of Hanging Out with Jen. As you know, I'm in California with my sister and we're just going on a drive, gonna go get some coffee, then go for a walk and I'll take you guys along with me. I don't know what the temperature is, maybe like 60, 65, windy out, beautiful. I'm just wearing shorts and a little tank and a sweater and it's just like amazing out. Um, Liz's bachelorette party is this weekend. We're getting ready to go there shortly this evening. And one of her maid of honors or bridesmaids isn't able to come this weekend unfortunately getting in the car so we blew up her face <laughs> and we're getting it laminated and we're gonna put it on a popsicle stick and take photos with it over the weekend so that's what we're gonna go pick up now hi everybody here's the bride to be how's your weekend going or your week going wonderful good wonderful it's good yay we'll show you it when we pick it up yes yeah, that's the uh, ink we're watercolor that one Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's a desert scene, you know. Well, we're from Arizona originally, oh, well, so I always see desert scenes you and I'm like, see that oh. Kind of stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. oh, I love it. Hey guys, oh. I'm bad at vlogging today. We are on our way to the beach house to celebrate Liz's bachelorette weekend with all of her girlfriends here in Morro Bay. What the clip you saw before this was a local artist here in town. He does ink drawings, and weren't they gorgeous? Um, I was trying to ask him a website where you could look him up and see some of his work, but he doesn't really have a good one, he was saying. To be fair, he was probably about 90 years old, so internet technology old. is probably not his, he seemed a little confused on the whole website thing, but I can go see him at Farmer's Market. Ooh, look at what's right so, in front of us. Oh yeah, turn, you guys turn it around. around. How beautiful is that? I hope that clip worked. <laughs> we'll have plenty of it tomorrow. But the cool thing was we were talking to him and his wife and they've been married for 63 years, right? Yeah, 63. And they said, we asked them what the key to marriage is and they said the key was compromise. compromise. They try to do everything 50-50. Well, we thought that was cool and very fitting for Liz's bachelorette weekend. I agree. Good topic of conversation. I agree. And then we watched um, Chelsea Does. Don't know if you've seen that show, but it's on Netflix. And um, the first episode is Chelsea Does Marriage. So it's like, oh, I know. It was, it was like, like, this uh... is fitting for this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so. Which was cool. We recommend watching it. I, we enjoyed it more than we thought we would. That is true. And I'm driving. That's why I keep yeah. flip flopping. So we're going to go, but this is our view heading to the beach house. Pretty gorgeous. Life is good. So I realized that after this, that last clip, I didn't film anything from the bachelorette party and I didn't follow up from anything else that happened in California. So I'm gonna insert some photos here of when we blew up Kat's face because that was very funny. And she enjoyed it, it really made her feel included, which is important to do when people just aren't able to make it. So I'm glad that we took that extra step to do that. And the bachelor party was really fun, Liz really enjoyed herself, it was just a relaxing, chill time to, you know, kind of get to know my sister's girlfriends a little bit more, and for Liz to just bond with all of her lady friends before she gets married. So I think it was a fun thing to be involved with, and I'm glad my sister really enjoyed herself. The rest of the time in California, we really just chilled. It was so nice to be in California with my Liz, with my Liz, with my sister and Lucas, her fiance, which you've seen him in past vlogs. Last time I went to California with my brother, we vlogged the entire time. It was very fun. I will put some of those links below so you can check out those vlogs and you can kind of see more of Morro Bay because we took the camera all around with us. It was really fun. 
but it was so nice to be there and just relax. Although I did work, I worked um, up until I left on Wednesday early morning. I worked about 10 hour days on Monday and Tuesday and that's just how it goes when you run your own business. You need to be present and always sort of be working to get the things done you need to get done. It's only Jenna and I working on it so it was good to be able to do that. Liz did stuff around the house while I worked and it was nice to be in just a different environment getting things done and my sister is very creative so she was able to help me solve some problems and be present for me as well which was a which was a good thing it was a good gift let's see my flight home was easy I had to drive from Morro Bay to San Jose and then get on the plane and that was easy it's like an hour and 15 minute flight back to Portland so it was cool and then last night was our creative challenge it was so much fun we had about 12 people come which was great this was one of our first times charging for an event and we learned a lot from it and we are super happy with the amount of people who came out I think it's so important to celebrate these these wins that might seem small but they're not for us it was a major deal to be able to pull this off and to feel good about it and everyone had so much fun so I'm also going to insert some of those clips in here as well and it just was really great and then this morning Jenna and I were on the radio talking about the creative round table and there's a clip about that as well and yeah I don't want to blab around too long I'm pretty good at doing that so yeah let's just get right into the guys, we're doing the creative challenge tonight and I just picked up pizzas look how many pizzas are in my car on Friday and I'm very tired right now. It's the morning after the creative round table creative challenge. You saw a few clips of that. If I haven't inserted them in now, I will do that now. Um, but it was a really great time. Everyone had so much fun. We had about 12 people, which was perfect. We don't like these events to get much larger than that. It just can sort of get a little chaotic. <laughs> Um, it was wonderful. We're gonna put together a whole video. I don't know when that will go up, but we will put together a whole video on the Creative Roundtable YouTube channel with the whole night's events. So that should be exciting. I'm waiting for my car to defrost because, and I'm up this early because Jenna and I are on the radio this morning, X-Ray Radio in Portland. If there is a link to our segment after we're on I will put it in the description bar down below but we're super stoked to be honest shout out to Rosa for hooking it up for us so I'm gonna get some coffee and they're expecting us at 705 it's about a 10 minute drive from here so I have a little bit of time to maybe get some coffee I just wanted to check in and I will bring you guys along to the radio station okay being on the radio. It was crazy amazing. Um, I kind of love Jenna Liz being for the radio. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have always wanted to be interviewed on the radio, so this was very cool. I, I have a habit of calling into radio shows. I don't know if you know that about I me. I don't know that. My, but my dad, he's the one that taught me this, so you know, he's uh, always inspired me to call into radio stations. So now we just were interviewed in the studio. It's I know. pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys listen. We'll try to find a clip and we'll post it down below if we can. Hope you guys all have a great day. <laughs> 